I'm here right now in an area known as Madain, and this area is full of these large pools, so-called ahwad or tubs, where literally tens of thousands of carp are cultivated. So these are basically still quite small, of course, and it'll take some time for them to grow, clearly, uh, months it seems. Um, so they were brought from the hatchery, al matpas put in this pool where they'll hang out for a bit before being transferred to the bigger pool over there. And from there, they start to grow and become nice, plump, two kilo carp. So, <laughs> there's something really satisfying about this, I have to say. Oh yeah, these are some hungry fishies. I'm here right now in Alwit Samak, the fish market. Starting at 4 a.m. every morning, people come to buy loads of carp. Holding them is not easy. Why is that the tickle? Oh, good. Got it. So, yeah. Oh. Anyway. It is very tasty for all that. Wednesday, it seems, well, Wednesday and Friday, it seems, are the days for Maskouf in Iraq. So people are coming in droves today. This part here is brutal and efficient. So the purists will tell you that you should be using a certain kind of wood to cook the maskouf. The purists, I have to say, are wrong. I'm standing here in Saleh's place in Al Ghadir, and here they use coal to cook the maskouf. The results are, quite frankly, amazing. Oh yeah. And now, the moment of truth. This has taken about 45 minutes. And the fish is now crispy on the underside, but it's also succulent in its, in its actual body over here. But it's hard to decide where to begin. Do you go for this excellently fatty part over here? Mmm. And here you can almost taste the fresh water. Or do you go for this part here, this fatty skin? Mmm. In either case, it's marvelous. It's actually pure magic. 